Carlos Alcaraz versus Alexander Zverev is the final quarterfinal of the Men's Australian Open for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Zverev entered the tournament as the number six seed and will take on Kopfer in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 4-6, 6-3, 7-6, 6-3. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier Klein. And this was a battle. After dropping two of the first three sets, Zverev would fight back to win 7-5, 3-6, 4-6, 7-6, 7-6. In the third round, he'd take on the youngster Mickelson, who had just taken out Lehechka in the previous round. There's no problem for Zverev getting through in straights. 6-2, 7-6, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on Nori, the 19th seed, who had just beaten Kasper Ruud in the previous round. And again, Zverev would be forced to play five, winning it in a tiebreak in the end. 7-5, 3-6, 6-3, 4-6, 7-6 to advance to the quarterfinal. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number two seed and will play Gasquet in the first round. And after a close first set, Alcaraz would run away with the next. 7-6, 6-1, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on Sinego. And after splitting the first two sets, Alcaraz would be forced to fight to win. 6-4, 6-7, 6-3, 6376. Six. In the third round, he'd take on Zheng, the wild card sensation from China. But unfortunately, Zheng wasn't up to the task, with Alcaraz getting through him easily. 6 1, 6 1, 1 love retirement. In the fourth round, he'd take on Kechmenovic, who had just saved match points against Tommy Paul in the previous round. There's no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights. 6 4, 6 4, 6 love to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have played seven times before, with Zverev actually leading the head-to-head 4-3. However, Alcaraz has won two of their last three matches, including the US Open quarterfinals last year. But Zverev did win their last matchup at the ATP Finals, three-setter in the group stage. So Zverev's got to be feeling good about that one. If Zverev's going to win this one, he needs to be very good on serve. We know that that is the weakness and also the strength of Zverev. He also needs to sort of be more aggressive. I don't think he can afford to stay behind the baseline that much and try and out-rally Alcaraz, because unless Alcaraz has a bad day, it's not going to be good for Zverev. So he needs to be a little bit more aggressive and obviously have a big day on his serve. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to keep that variety, but also not be silly with it because he does sometimes just play a little bit random and try and throw out things that maybe he shouldn't with some big forehands when maybe they're not there. So he needs to play smart here because we know that Zverev is capable of playing long matches. We've seen that already this week. What a fun matchup. And especially considering Zverev won their last match, this is going to be really, really interesting. But I think Zverev won't get it done. I think Alcaraz will get it done in four sets. But I think it's going to be Alcaraz's day. I think he's going to get it done in four sets against Zverev. I think it's going to be early, maybe a bit close early. But then after that, Alcaraz will get the better of him and make the semis. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win?